guys, I am in the car today, and yes, this is going to be a really, really quick book haul. And yes, I did just come out of Books Million, but I just really want to show you guys what I got because I got a great deal on all of these books, and I wanted to show them off to you. So the first book that I got is called, um, or is actually a, a Selected Poems by Williams Wordsworth, and I got these because. If you guys don't already know, right now I'm going for my master's and the degree is called Master's of Arts in Teaching. I plan to teach high school English from grades 9 through 12 and I just think this would be really, really great to read for my class and to do different things with. So I, I got that and it says $5 but it was actually half off of $5 because it was on a clearance sale. Next. I got different poems by Walt Whitman, selected poems, some really great ones. Again, these will be great just to use in my classroom and to do different activities with, um, with my students. And then next, I got, oh, haha, <laughs> I got this. This is for my son. He just turned four and he really likes cars and books. So this is like a really cool combination of the two. It opens and does all these crazy things. It has a little car that came with it and and even it even has a built-in track and I think he'll like that. It's just a really nice surprise for him. It feels good to have a kid who loves book like books like me. Alright, next we have Abraham Lincoln, The Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. Got this for 4 97 I heard the movie was great. I picked this up one day when I was at the store, read the first page, thought it was wonderful, and I really want to read this as soon as I get a chance because time has been very, 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 very hard to come by these last few days. But as soon as I get a chance, I want to get into this. Next. I got The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, another great classic I feel like I could use in my classroom, and I got it for $2.97. Next, I got The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, another really, really good, not so much a classic, but still a very good young adult story that I feel my students would love to get into, which, which is, yeah, really good. And then... Last but not least, I got Wither by Lauren De De Stefano. I think that's how you say her name, for $3. I mean, I've been wanting to read this for a while. It's just been way too expensive. I mean, the hardcover in itself was about like 17 bucks, and then even the paperback was $10. But I found the hardback for $3, which is awesome. And recently, I just found her YouTube channel, and she's actually a pretty cool, funny kind of girl to listen to. And I figured that I really liked her a lot as a person, so why not try to read? some of her stuff but um, oh that's not it I have another book in here ha <laughs> ha oh and then I got Simply Shakespeare Macbeth I'm trying to brush up on a lot of my classics because you never know what I will be called to teach when I enter my classroom for the first time and um this is just like the type of book where it has the modern English translation on one side and then it has Shakespearean translation on the other so that it will be really easy to decipher and to understand. Also, I feel like this will help my students understand Shakespeare as well so they can get the most out of the play instead of just sitting there um, reading this with the question mark sitting on top of their heads. But I think that's it. Yes, that's all. My bag is completely empty. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books for $35 okay and that is amazing and they are all bargain price this one ended up being $8.99 which is a great price for Shakespeare and like a special edition kind of Shakespeare so I thought that was great initially I went into books a million to get a collection of um Edgar Allan Poe's works <laughs> that did not work out because the the best one that I saw was actually $24 um and I was not willing to spend that much and I actually saw a collection of Edgar Allan Poe's works in Barnes & Noble one day for $8. And I don't know why I did not get it that day. So I will be headed back to Barnes & Noble's another day really soon to get that. And I also wanted to get some um, Robert Frost poems. But I didn't see that in Books Million. So when I get a chance to go out to Barnes & Noble, I will probably look for that as well. But anyways, this was done really quickly in the car. Something extremely different, but not something that I will probably do a lot in the future. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my really, really quick bargain haul. And 